Everybody gang, it's your boy, it's your homie, it's your finish that, man, finish that, man. Now, y'all already knew. Y'all already knew, man. I got to get some more George Carlin, man. Rest in peace, George Carlin, man. He was a real nigga. That's all I'm going to say. George is a real nigga, man. Y'all know we reacted to his seven dirty words. Bro, it was hilarious, bro. He was, he was basically talking about how did it get to this point where these certain words were dirty? Like, these, these words you couldn't say. How did we get to this point to choose these seven words? <laughs> bro, that's crazy. I was thinking about that for like a week, bro. That's crazy. Then he said, basically, you got to you gotta trial and error. You got to say them and then get punished and then you know that word is bad. That's tough. That's some real stuff, bro. That's so real, man. But we got to check out this right here, man. George Carlin on our similarities. Bro, what, bro? <sighs> we finna check this out, man. We finna check this out. I have no idea what this man about to say. I just know I'm here for it, man. I'm here for the last, man. Let's get it. Tell you what. Now to balance the scale, I'd like to talk about some things that bring us together. Things that point out our similarities instead of our differences. Because that's all you ever hear about in this country is our differences. That's all the media and the politicians are ever talking about, the things that separate us, right. things that make us different from one another. That's the way the ruling class operates in any society. They try to divide the rest of the people. Mm. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. Yo, bro. 38 seconds in, and this man said some of the realest stuff you ever go hear, bro. Bro, I have the utmost respect for George already, man. He said, basically, they're going to they gonna talk about our differences. They're going to try to separate us so they can keep getting richer and richer while we out here separating each other, killing each other. Bro, come on, a comedian saying this, bro. I let you know he was way much more than a comedian, man. They try to divide the rest of the people. They keep the lower and the middle classes fighting with each other so that they, the rich, can run off with all the fucking money. <laughs> Fairly simple thing happens to work. Hey. You know, anything different, that's what they're going to talk about. Race, religion, ethnic and national background, hey. jobs, income, education, social status, sexuality, anything you can do, keep us fighting with each other so that they can keep going to the bank. You know how I describe the economic and social classes in this country? The upper class keeps all of the money, pays none of the taxes. Thanks. The middle class pays all of the taxes, does all of the work. The poor are there just to scare the shit out of the middle class. <laughs> Keep them showing up at those jobs. So... That's tough, bro. That's so tough. So stirring up the shit is something I like to do from time to time, but I also like to know that I can come back to these little things we have in common, little universal moments that we share separately, the things that make us the same. They're so small we hardly ever talk about them. Hold on. Did you ever look at your watch and then you don't know what time it is? <laughs> and you have to look again. And you still don't know the time. So you look a third time and somebody says, what time is it? You say, I don't know. <laughs> Yo. you ever notice how sometimes all day Wednesday, you keep thinking it's Thursday? Bro, what? Man, what? Yo, that, bro, that just, bro, that's crazy. I do that shit every day. Every damn day. <laughs> I'd be like, God damn, it's Friday yet? Did you ever notice how sometimes all day Wednesday, you keep thinking it's Thursday? <laughs> and it happens over and over all day long. And then the next day, you're all right again. That's true, bro. Did you ever find yourself standing in one of the rooms in your house and you can't remember why you went in there? And two words float across your mind, Alzheimer's disease. Oh, shit. 
You ever been talking to yourself and somebody comes in the room and you have to make believe you were singing? <laughs> and you hope. Yo, yo, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell y'all, bro. Bro, I cannot make this up, bro. Jojo was in the shower the other day. And she was in there talking to herself, right? I heard her talking to herself. And I walked in. I act like I just had walked in. So I went to that lady, pouring the shower curtain back, like, bro, who you talking to? She told me, I was praying. I <laughs> said, I said, hell no. Nigga, you was there talking to yourself, man. Tell me you was playing. Bro, that's tough. <laughs> And you hope to God the other person really believes there's a song called What Does She Think I Am? Some Kind of Putz? <laughs> Little experiences we've all had. Facts, you ever been sitting in a railroad train in a station and there's another train sitting right next to you and one of them starts to move and you can't tell which one it is? See, this is the type of stuff we don't say out loud. But when you're out on a small boat on a windy day, you ever been out rocking back and forth for three or four hours trying to keep your balance, rough seas, little boat, then you get back into the shore and you're standing on the dock and you can swear there was something inside of you that was still out there rocking. <laughs> Did you ever try to pick up a suitcase you thought was full, but it wasn't? <laughs> and you go, Doo? <laughs> And for just a split second, you feel really strong. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. How about when you're looking through a chain link fence? Did you ever notice if you're just the right distance from a chain link fence, sometimes it seems to go <laughs> What is that? How do they do that? Did you ever try to tell somebody they have a little bit of dirt on their face? You can never get them to rub the right spot, can you? <laughs> Say, you got a little bit of dirt right here. They always go, we're here. <laughs> and you just want to slap the bastard. <laughs> Yo, that thing. <laughs> Yo, I swear I'm guilty on that one, bro. Ah, oh, bro, that's crazy. Don't ever tell it, like, say, you got something right there. I'd be all on the opposite side. <laughs> Did you ever notice how awful your face looks in a mirror in a restroom that has fluorescent lights? Every, every cut, straight, scratch, scar, scab, bruise, boil, bump, pimple, zip, wart, welt, and abscess you've had since birth. All seem to come back at the same time. And all you can think of is, I gotta get the fuck out of here! Yeah, that's crazy. Did you ever notice sometimes when you're walking with your arm around your date, one of you has to change the way you're walking? I, uh, Men and women don't walk the same. One of them has to change. Either the man has to walk like this. <laughs> or the woman has to walk like this. <laughs> Joey, how are you? And the cook not smoking the cigarette, bro, your food not gonna taste good. That's tough. Remember, Shaq told you first. Let's get it. Hold up, bro. Yo, I'm asleep. Or well, the woman has to walk like this. <laughs> Joey, how are you? <laughs> Yo, he did that too good. How about when you're going up a flight of stairs and you think there's one more step? Oh, oh, everybody did. Whoop! <laughs> and then you have to kind of keep doing that, you know? <laughs> so people will think it's something you do all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do this all the time. It's the third stage of syphilis. <laughs> Same thing happens when you're going down the stairs. Oh, man. You can swear there was one more step. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. My hips are in my chest. 
<laughs> oh my God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when you drink grapefruit juice in the morning, do you go like this? <laughs> I do too. Why do we drink it? It's like ice cream throat. You know when you've been eating ice cream too fast and you get that frozen spot in the back of your throat, but you can't do anything about it because you can't reach it to rub it? You just have to kind of wait for it to go away? And it does? Then what do you do? Eat more ice cream! What are we, fucking stupid? Oh my God, bro. Did you ever fall asleep on a late afternoon and wake up after dark and you don't know what goddamn day it is? <laughs> like when you have your head on the pillow. Did you ever notice when you have your head on the pillow, if you close the, if you close the bottom eye, the pillow is down there. <laughs> then if you switch eyes, the pillow moves up there. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit, Dave. Look I, at I, gotta, shit. I gotta try that one. The mystery I, of the moving pillow. I gotta try that one. I think it's related to the chain link fence mystery, my son. <laughs> Yo. Do you ever have to sneeze while you're taking a piss? Oh. Oh, no. It's frightening, isn't it? You don't know which one. It's frightening because actually you can't do it. <laughs> it's physically impossible to sneeze while pissing. You're Bro. I never thought about it, yo. It, it's really, it really is, bro. Sneeze while you pee. Your pee goes like, zoop, it gonna stop for a split second. That's tough. Brain won't let it happen. Your brain says, stop pissing. <laughs> We're going to sneeze now. <laughs> Cause your brain knows you might blow your asshole out. <laughs> George, you the GOAT, bro. You the motherfucking GOAT, man. Hey. Oh, my God. Bro, I wasn't expecting to laugh that hard tonight, bro. Bro, I... You, like, the, all those things he said, bro, that's stuff we never talk about. People never talk about none of those things, but we all have those in common, bro. That's why the crowd was going crazy. Man, I have no words. We definitely got to check out some more. Oh my God, bruh. George, you did it. You did it, bruh. Y'all let me know if y'all enjoyed that by liking the vid, man. Let me know some more George calling for sure, for sure, man. Oh, go.